second quarter final matchup here in Leg 3 ng ating first conference of the second season. Meralco Bolts versus Barangay Ginebra San Miguel. Sino ang aabante? Sino ang sasama sa TNT Tropang Giga with the action coming to you from the Robinsons Place here in Las Piñas. Carlo Pamintuan with Coach Bojing Ako on the call as we send it over to our announcer to introduce both lineups for Meralco and Ginebra. This is another quarterfinals game. It's just about to happen. Tawagin natin ang dalawang team sa magbabakbakan. Unahin muna natin. Maralco Bolts 3x3. From Kalkar, Cebu City, at number seven, Alfred Bartino. From Pasig City, at number nine, Leo Davala. Former UAAP champion from Bacolod City at number 10, Tornino Gonzaga. From Bukidon at number 16, Raima Kanduya. Coach of Miralco Bolts, we actually coach Patrick Frank. Ang kanilang kalaban, Barangay Hinebla San Miguel. From Cagayan de Oro City at number 5, Rob Salcedo. From Quezon City at number 13, Ralph Koo. From Pulilan Bulacan at number 19, James Malajas. From San Pablo Laguna at number 28, Dennis Villamore. Coach of Barangay Hinebra, San Miguel, Coach Kurt Collier. Our officials, Chef Tantai, Kenny Hollig. For Tonino Gonzaga, going up against Barangay Ginebra is always exciting, whether it's 3x3 or 5-on-5, five five, mainly because of the fans, which to him, he takes as the adrenaline and motivation whenever they meet. But in this quarterfinals matchup between the PBA rivals, the Moralco Bolts believe that the system they have been running and are familiar with for one year already is going to be their advantage against Barangay Ginebra today. That is really something that they hold confidence in, the tried and tested system of their 3x3 team. But for Tonino, in a 10-minute game, anything can happen. To be specific, Moralco losing easy matches before, for example, was something he, he mentioned, so showing any complacency is not an option. Instead, using the quickness of the guards, focusing on a tighter defensive game is what they want to show against Tenebra today. Meralco Bulls 3x3 versus Barangay Hinebra San Miguel in five, four, three, x three, PBA, La Paz, La Tatlo. This is the first of what would be two Meralco versus Hinebra matches here today. Dahil 3x3 muna, mamaya naman, 5-on-5. Five five. Uh, Johnny O'Brien versus Justin Brownlee for the Commissioner's Cup elimination round. But now, focus our attention on 3x3 competitions. As Ray Marcaduya, who is seeing his first action with the Miralco Wolves, will try to help his squad qualify for the semifinals. Alfred Batino can't get the first basket of the matchup. Gonzaga, wala pa rin yung kanyang follow-up. As Meralco hoping that, you know, isa lang yung nalaro nila kahapon, no? So fresh legs will be helpful for them here in the second day of competition. Malaking factor yung uh, isa game lang nilaro ng Meralco dahil nga sa nagkaroon ng suspension of game ang Titans. Pero dito, yung aggressiveness ng ng Barangay Ginebra has to be that high kasi nga iba ang galaw ng Meralco. Pero ang ganda ng play na yon mula sa Barangay Ginebra opening up. Wide open basket down low. Kaduya mula sa labas did not want to pull the trigger. Neymar umatake one hander no good. He scored on the game winning layup in their match kahapon to give them the number one spot. In their pool, Mga has down low, a lot of contact as Villamor scores. Uh oh, nasaktan itong si Kaduyak mukhang nasa pool sa mukha as we have an official timeout. Sapwestuhan yun sa ilalim against James Mga has. We know James Mga has is a big guard. So mahirap, magkaroon talaga ng mismatch dun sa shaded lane. Yeah. 
Pabalasa muna ng tao ang Meralco. Papasok itong si Leo De Vera. Nasa Kaguyak. Check on by our medical officials. Ito yung bangkaan sa ilalim. Eh. Oh, kumangat. Kumagsak. Yun. Ang dalawahan. Two-hit combo mula kay Mga Ahas. Dave is called for the foul here. Meron namang puntos doon si Kaduyak sa huling puse sa depensa na nangyari sa kanya, no? sa uh, uh, extra motion na ginawa ni James Mangahas. Pero ang maganda kasi dito sa Barangay Hinebra, eh, yung mga players nila, ano eh, multiple position, pwede silang mag-switch all the way. Kaduyak with a strong drive. Hindi pa pala shooting ball yung kanina. And Kaduyak will now get the free throw. Kaduyak much shorter kay Salcedo. Pero yung upper body strength niya is evident. Kaya naman pag kulay nila sa air, natawagan ng foul doon si Salcedo. Omar Kaduyak played for the Limitless App Masters. He was part of the squad that won the first ever conference championship in the Grand Finals. With the likes of Glory Napoles, Brandon Ganuela Foster, Marvin Hayes, as well too. Tiles at home from downtown. Ito namang si Go. Experience niya was playing for the UAAP. 3x3 competitions for the DLSU Green Archers. As Batino, the answer is back down low. Very important yung mga extra passes ng both teams. Kaya naman nagkaroon ng easy layup si Batino. Oh, nasa rin ang pinto doon. Oh, a two-point shot. Fouled. Itong si Villamor, he will take two. May magkakit, magsak itong si Tonino Gonzaga. Sa on the ball, nagkaroon ng foul si Kaduyak sa shooting arm ni Dennis Villamor. But off the ball, may konting kulay si Salcedo at si Tonino Gonzaga. Nabox out and lang. Uh, Gonzaga tried to sell the contact. Referee is not biting dahil may naitawag na nga silang foul sa labas on that two-point attempt from Villamor. Atibay naman. Atibay at tao to si Gonzaga. <laughs> Kala ni Gonzaga, siya yung na nakadraw ng foul. Pero nga, may natawag na nauna eh. So whatever happened down low, will not be called anymore. A dead ball situation na nangyari na doon. So, two free throws ang nangyayari dito kay Villamor. Buntis yung free throw mula kay Villamor. Villamor played uh, in the National University. But before that, sa Rizal Technological University. No, sayang yung mga free throws na ganyan. Easy opportunities to score as Leo De Vera misses from the outside. De Vera gets the ball back for Meralco. Kaduya, umatake, attracting the defense. Gonzaga. Tough drive, could not sink it. Gonzaga against all defenders ng Barangay Hinebra, powering home that point. Tonino Gonzaga, fit na fit talaga para dito sa 3x3. I think he will really excel here more. Two with the opening, had to rush it. Dahil paubos na yung kanilang shot lock. That ball is clear. De Vera susubok muli from the outside. That's good for two. Meralco up by one now. Who has to adjust kay De Vera. He's been shooting from outside ever since pagpasok niya dito sa ball game. Good pass, De Vera score. Whoa, misses that one. Kala ko papasok mo yun dahil nandun na siya. He was right there in front of the rim. Tumaas yung energy ng, ng Miralco Boat sa pagpasok ni De Vera. He's been taking it in and out. Oh, poor pass. Just miscommunication. That's Gonzaga hoping to add on to this one-point Miralco lead. Tonino draws a foul. Malinaw yung contact mula kay Ko. They could have been been more patient sa depensa. I'm talking about Barangay Hinebra. Shot clock is winding down. They're switching all the way sa defense. Yun naman talaga yung gusto mangyari dito ng kanilang uh, coach. 
They switch all the way to the sa defense. Size advantage sa ilalim kay Batino. They send him the rock. Natapikan mula sa likod ni Ku. Batino forces up the shot. That's a miss. Counter for Barangay Hinebra. Mangahas mula sa labas. Swishes the two-point shot. That's a big shot by James Mangahas. He's been the leader of Barangay Hinebra. Then they get a stop after this two-point make coming from James Mangahas. Salcedo contra De Vera. Mangahas launches again. Can't make it back to back. De Vera nakapasok na ng dos kanina. This time it barely kisses the iron. Good spin, and the foul will be called against Batino. Banggaan sila sa ere nitong si Salcedo. Nangyari yung quick ball reversal. Uh, kay, ni mga as to Salcedo, nagbahag yung dumipensa si Batino, kaya naman inatake ni Salcedo. Good move by Salcedo. So mayroon dito free throw siya. 7-6 to six is the count. One point lead for Barangay Hinebra. Tatlong mintis na yan sa free throw. Dito sa larong ito, you cannot miss too many free throws. Against a team as good as Meralco Kaduya. In and out, Gonzaga. With a nice find down low, Batino scores to tie the ball game at 7. We've been telling uh, everyone that uh, extra pass is very important. Off oh, traveling violation kasi nga nag-dribble na si Ku. Sinipin muli ito kung points kong lapit eh. Napakalapit nung paa itong si Mangahas. Uh, this will not be a great angle to review that last call. As Gonzaga loses the ball to the baseline. Babalik sa Barangay Ginebra. Seven apiece. So far, both teams displaying a good individual defense. And of course, yung mga help side nila in case na ma-breakdown yung kanilang mga defensa. Sa 5-1-5 natin mamaya, no? Commissioner's Cup, parehong Hinebra at Meralco losing their first games of the Commissioner's Cup. Looking for a bounce-back performance against their rivals as Batino. Hindi nakuha yung reverse layup. That's a clear hack mula kay Mangahas. That was a loose ball foul by James Mahas against De Vera. And that will send us to our TV timeout. Isa ang lamang ng Barangay Hinebra, 8-7. to seven. They have 14 fouls compared to only two for the Miralco Bulls. Pagkatapos po nito, dalawang quarterfinals pa ang ating masasaksihan. San Miguel Beerman versus JMT Express. Platinum Karaoke contra sa Cavitex Braves. Bago tayo tumungo sa ating semi-finals a little later on. Kung saan nakapasok na nga ito ang TNT Tropang Giga. They're the first team to enter the semi-finals. We will be hoping to regain uh, podium spot. Siyempre, mas maganda sa kanila kung nasa tuktok sila ulit. Katulad nung mangyari nung leg one. After settling for just a third place finish in leg two. Very important lahat talaga, ano, Carlo, ng ball game, no? Not only for the teams na nag-qualify for the quarters and semis. Meron kasi talaga tayong puntos na kinakailangan makuha ng bawat team sa bawat lalaroin nila para sa dulo, magkaroon tayo ng top 10 teams sa total points na makukuha nila. Well, there is a race uh, for the 10th spot, no? So, syempre, yung mga nasa 11 and 12, gusto mga pasok sa grand finals. But there is a different race altogether for the top four spots. Importante naman yan because the top four, after our first six legs, will be heading straight into the quarterfinals habang yung anim na kupunan, meaning from number five to number ten, eh maglalaban-laban pa para ma-determine kung sino yung apat na abante into the next stage. Yun yung sinusubukang siguraduhin ng mga kupunan tulad ng TNT, Meralco, and the other favorites here in our competition. As you noted, uh, Coach Bojing, yung Hinebra, nasa labas ng top 10 natin, pero malaki yung magagawa sa kanila if they advance to the semis in this leg. 
Oh, biglang aangat ka agad yung posisyon nila, no? Because they will gain a big point dito sa, sa leg 3 natin. So, kaya ang nangyayari dito sa game natin, bakbakan talaga. Gonzaga, nagpakawala, Mintis, Kaduyak with the rebound. Raymar sa ilalim. Could not sink it as Kuhl finally gets the stop for Hinebra. Good caught from Salcedo. Quick attack for Hinebra. Backdoor play again for Barangay Hinebra. No transitions ng Hinebra when they get it going. Napakaganda talaga as De Vera misses another shot from the outside. He made one earlier but he has missed three in total mula sa two-point range. Mabilis yung recovery dito sa offense ng Barangay Hinebra. Kaya nagkaroon ng backdoor play sa Salcedo. Has touched yan ni Villamor Bola babalik sa Meralgo They're down by two though, nine to seven One of the nice players to watch is Kaduyak When he's, play he's playing defense Yung anticipation niya sa bola Is very evident Lalo na playing the, playing the passing lane Kaduyak Looking here for his options, they go to Batino down low. Alfred. Hindi talaga po mapasok yung mga tira niya sa loob. He gets into the spots, just could not complete the plays. Uh, because Berge Hinebra is playing physical on him, lalo na sa shaded lane. Air ball na naman yan mula kay Ku. As he was forced to put up a shot, paubos na rin yung kanilang shot lock. Kirk Collier, Coach Patrick Fran. Torino Gonzaga can make it from downtown. Batino nasa ilalim. Try to fish for a foul as he completes the play with the basket. Tirap ng tira doon ni Batino. Ano, binuhat niya na si Dennis Villamore for that one point. Ganda nung anticipation sa depensa nitong si Gonzaga. De Vera to Gonzaga gets the step. Kick out pass a little bit off. Miss Q. Ni Gonzaga at ni De Vera, it, it, it's a driving kick play. Unfortunately, hindi nila na-execute. Lamang pa rin po ng isa ang Barangay Hinebra. 3 minutes, 25 remaining. Villamor, tumatake sa gitna. Two-point shot won't work for mga has. Patino gets the basket. Nope, hindi pa daw. Foul before the shot attempt, sabi ng ating referee. Dennis Villamur decided to play behind. He wanted to have a three-second violation dito sa situation niya, no? Hindi niya talagang playing behind lang siya. Hiningi niya three seconds pero tinawagan ng foul. Kaduya. Umatake sa gitna, one-hander. He rattles it home. We're tied at nine apiece. Good decision by Kaduyak to take it in. Oh, poor entry pass. Nakaka problema na sa pasahan itong barangay Hinebra as they turn the ball over. The spacing ng kanilang opensa ang nagiging problema dito ng barangay Hinebra. Geraldo <laughs> looking for the go ahead basket. But the pass, hindi nasa loon itong si Gonzaga. Nanggigigil si Gonzaga because he really wants to attack the defense of James Mangahas. Salcedo, Poposte, contra kay De Vera. Salcedo goes to the other side, he misses. That was tapped out. It will stay with Dark. Both teams playing physical dito sa ball game. Actually, ang PBA 3XT talaga physical, Carlo. Hindi pa yung pwedeng basta-basta ka mag-let go. Salcedo, another attempt to, attempt to post up. Comes up empty once again. Who will not be able to save the ball. It will go back to Meralgo. Two minutes and 25 remaining. Kaduyak. Uh, has to make 
a better decision kung aatake siya o hindi para magkaroon sila ng uh, puntos. Foul. Napito. Contra kay Mangahas. And that will send them into the penalty situation. That was their sixth team foul. Next one will lead to two free throws for Meralco. Even coach Coach Kirk Collier on the sideline. Bawal kasi mag-coach dito. Medyo animated dito sa huling tawag na traveling dapat pero hindi tinawag daw. So tumayin mo talagang tuluyan si James Mangas para sa kanyang team. 9-9. Pabla tayo dito. As a spot in the semifinals is up for grabs for the winner of this. Muli po pagkatapos ito. San Miguel Beer contra JNT Express. Tapos Platinum Karaoke contra Cavitex Braves. Patuyak, pinalpal nito si Villamor. Tonino Gonzaga rattles out on the two-point shot. Ku, pinulot ang rebound. Villamor has it. Now Salcedo. Di pa maka-atake yung barangay Hinebra. Maganda yung depensa ng Meralco. One second on the shot clock. William Moore will not have enough time. Good switching defense by Tonino Gonzaga and Kaduyak. They were able to stop that precious possession by Barangay Hinebra. Taba ng scoring natin, no? Dahil sa hindi ng depensahan, itong magkabilang kupunan as Gonzaga continues to miss from downtown. Sa foul on Gonzaga, hindi pa yan problema for Meralco. Only their 13 fouls. Walang problema, may 3 fouls to give pa Meralco Bolts dito sa ball game. Pero, ang Barangay Hinebra, hindi na basa-basa pwede magbigay ng foul kasi 16 fouls na sila. Offensive foul yan against Mangahas. Tried to maximize his size advantage against Kaduya. Again, in 3x3, offensive fouls will count against your totals. So, aangat na sa pito ang team fouls ng Ginebra. But it will not be free throws. Yun po yung kaparehas naman niya sa 5-on-5 game. Basta offensive foul, hindi free throws. Pero carry over siya sa team foul. So, yung susunod, two free throws na talaga ang mangyayari sa, sa Miracle Boys. Pag final sila ng Ginebra. Gonzaga goes to Devera, another attempt from downtown. Finally, he hits another one. As they're back up by two. Four points already for Devera. Villamor down low. Oh, and then one opportunity, fouled by Batino. That's a big shot by Dennis Villamor inside the paint. Not only na, malap, na one point na lang kalamangan nila ng Miralco, pero pwede equalize sa yan. William Moore taking it in against Patino. Kita mo doon, yung makap ng konti, yung kanang braso nitong si Patino. Kaya nakita na ispatan ng ating referee to call that foul. Bonus free throw is a make. That's we're tied at 11 all. Depensa magiging sagot dito ng Barangay Ginebra. De Vera, good entry pass. Batino sa ilalim. Gets the basket. No, no, no. Hindi pa daw counted. Pero may foul. And Barangay Hinebra is in the penalty. So that would mean two free throws for Batino dahil sa pang-18 foul na ng Barangay Hinebra. Good seal coming from Alfred. As he rattles the first free throw home. Uli po kung inyong matatandaan, no? may tatlong minti sa free throw line. Itong Barangay Hinebra. And in a tight battle like this one, you need all the points you could muster up. Two point lead for Meralco. Foul contra kay Kaduyak. That will be the fifth for the Bulls. So Barangay Hinebra want to take it in. Gusto nila magkaroon ng quick one point sa shaded lane. Oh, oh. nagkamali yung depensa ng Meralco leading to that opening. 
Layup para kay Salcedo. Only a one point game. They just have to be patient. I'm talking about Barangay Ginebra sa Depensa. Rivera didn't hit, didn't hit the rim. Kaya umbus yung kanilang shot clock. That was a good defense by Barangay Ginebra. Ito yung miscue kanina on a backdoor by Salcedo. Good eye by Ku. Thirteen, twelve. Barangay Ginebra looking to tie the ball game as Ku does exactly that inside. Thirteen, thirteen. Semi-final spot up for grabs. Gonzaga has it. Tonino umatake. Nasara ng pinto. Gonzaga fadeaway jumper. No. Here we go. Barangay Ginebra with a chance to take the lead. Dennis Villamor goes to Mangahas. Drives. Pabandang tira wala. Five seconds to score here. Gonzaga, sorry, Batino did not clear it. Batino, this will not count as we are headed into overtime. Hindi nagkano ng clear possession si Batino. Hindi niya nalabas sa three-point arc. Kaya naman yung referee tinigil ang ball game. At tumapos pa ang at natapos pa ang ating game time. Yung subok clear of kailangan yung pangalawang paa lumabas din point you meralgo will have to overcome their dismay about that last decision dahil Kailangan nila mag-focus sa ating susunod na aksyon uh, in the overtime period for the rule is the first team to score two points will win it. Doesn't matter how, doesn't matter when, ang unang makadalawa sila ang aabante sa ating semifinals. So I was just able to clear it sa technical group. No? Nakastraddle daw kasi si yep. uh, Batino kaya hindi nagkaroon ng clear. Yep. Pero kung one foot lang at saka nakalift yung isa pwede, that's a clear one. So that was the good call by our referee. Gonzaga goes to Batino for the win. Alfred could not get it. But they will pick up the rebound. Batino can't bank it home. Tapigan ng bola. Sino mananaig. Hinebra has a chance now as they clear it. Mangahas for the for win. The win. No. Meralco slowing things down. They go to Batino. Easy basket for Alfred. So Meralco decided to go for a one point. Barangay Hinebra. Ano kaya gagawin nila dito? James Mangahas. Great defense from Miralco so far. Ku emergency shot is short. Miralco just needing one more point to win this game. Easy one. I'm out hitting in Miralco. They will plan out. A play to try and win this ball game. Barangay Ginebra. Desperately need of a stop. Dito, Carlos, sa 3x3, sa mga late viewers natin, no? Pag nag-overtime dito, first to make two points ang kailangan gawin ng isang team. So, regardless na yan, kung one point o two points ka umatake ba sa kailangan magka two points ka. Meralco just looking for a point. Kaduya goes inside. Batino scores again. Miscommunication on defense, costing Barangay Hinebra this ball game. What a miscue of defense. Good read by Batino. Kaduya passing to Batino on the back door for the panalo. In the doubling sakit, don't you don't even have to defend the two-point shot. Dahil isa lang yung kailangan. 
nitong Meralco. They decided to go to a switch, pero hindi maganda yung pagkakabasa ng two players ng Barangay Hinebra. Kaya doon sa switching, na-open si Matino. A frustrating finish for Barangay Hinebra. Matino scoring the last two points of this ball game in overtime para ipadala ang Meralco sa ating semi to the top four. Wolves, one of the most consistent squads in our PBA 3XP competitions, will move forward, eliminating Barangay Ginebra San Miguel from the competitions.